Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 16? Yeah, 16, cool. Um, courtesy of the ever so useful client star, I've pulled out a bunch of resources here. Because today we're gonna craft a few things. So, let me get set and build a couple of, I think I'm gonna need three or four pistons. So, let me do that. It's just... Um, Something like this. You've all seen me craft pistons before. Let's make five. Alright, we're also going to need these. These little buggers. Which I built using a redstone repeater, which I thankfully taught my transmutation table because it's a pain to build. And I'm gonna need about ten. 20. I'm not gonna need more for now, but there are some other things that I do need. So let's put that recipe in. Are there any differences between these two? Not really. Oh, it's just uh, switching these. Okay. And we put the black there, that and that. And one, two, three, four should do for now. The reason why I made this many receivers is that we will need them for other purposes later. Okay, so let me grab these red alloy ingots and uh, make a bunch more of those. I'm gonna keep one. It doesn't have an EMC value so I can't copy that one up. Uh, that sucks, but oh well can't get everything, right? So, basically, what I want to do is I want to put down a detector for storage cards, state cells, this one I might need to make another one. I'm not sure though. Let's try without. And a switch track. And now, let's see... I might need a toggle latch, but we'll see. Um, if I put a detector there, and let's say I place down the switch there. Switch motor, switch on, I don't know. Um, and place down, I'm just gonna remove a few tracks here. Oh, I figured out that using the crowbar helps me remove tracks faster. There we go. Why is that one the wrong... There we go. So basically, if I put a cart down, this might or might not work. It switches the track. Hmm. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's because that one isn't sending the signal correctly. Okay. So now, if I have a cart... Okay, that will switch that one. Perfect. Now, I do want to switch it back fairly soon, just in case there is a... Actually, I want to have that one stay switched. What happens if I have... Now, remember, I am testing this, and I have no idea how to really work this. <laughs> there might be a lot of odd testing this episode. Um... Do I have any jacket and wire? Yes. Saves me some time. If I do this and place down a cart, will that trigger this wire? No, it does not. Because that one does not receive signal. Um. 
let's move th move things up a bit. And uh, we'll use redstone wire like this. There we go. And of course, like so. Now, if I put that one there, and we place down a little cart. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So I got the the gist of things here. Um, now I want this one to stay lit when there is a car in here. We will have a boarding track, I think. Let's put down a boarding track here. And switch the direction. And say... Something like this. No idea if this works. Oh, can connect like that. Cool. If I get this as I want it now, whenever this one go, not fast enough. Might need to have some sort of booster here just to make sure that it gets there fast. Or I can just put it there. Switch is too fast, doesn't it? Hmm. Do I need a state cell for this? Does look like it. I'm gonna think a bit because I need to make it sort of toggle. Whenever there is a train that passes by this detector, if there is no signal from here, this one should switch. Okay? Let me think on how I want this. Okay, so <laughs> I got it working. It's a bit big and convoluted and doesn't really look very nice. Um, basically now, this one will react to any train being in that position over here. Okay? If there is a train here, which will be an unloading point where it drops off all the cargo. If there is a train there, this one will send out a signal to this one. If this one and this one is on, this will be on. Okay? And uh, this is a NOT gate, which means that if there is something in front of here, this will be off. Look off. Okay, so now when the train comes running here now, if I drop it from up there, it should go past. It didn't. Uh, that's probably because I need some sort of delay on this. Okay, which is why I have these. Um, if I put that one down, And set this... Oh, it's not a timer that I need. It's a state cell. Oh, it's a state cell. Um, hmm. Interesting. Might want that one there. We can put the state cell... I don't know. Let's put it here. And... Uh, Something like that. Let's make it like this. Okay. Now this one will tick and it will switch itself. Huh. It 
that's not entirely the way I want it to work. I want this signal to be delayed. Do I just need a repeater? I don't want it to be delayed as in happen later, but stay on for a time. I suppose I could use a state cell and a toggle latch. Hmm. Not entirely sure on that. But I've almost got it. So if it comes at enough speed there, it should pass through. So let's... Um, I'll borrow two of these. And uh, I wonder if I have more. I do. So I can just put that there. Move the redstone torch up a little bit. There we go. Now that one should have enough speed. Oh, it doesn't. So this needs to go closer. This one has to be a bit closer to that. So that it can pass. Huh. Yeah, but I'm on the right track. I'll experiment a bit more and see if I can get a decent layout for this. I might want to put these underneath the tracks as well, just to make it look better. This one can't, since it has to be near that one, so... Yeah, but that's the gist of it, and uh, I understand the principle. And we'll just clean this up a little bit. And I haven't said this episode how much I love smart moves. It's probably the one mod that I will never ever be able to work without anymore. Couldn't live without it. It's really awesome. So let me clean this up. I might have to dig out and uh, restructure this hole a little bit. But yeah. I'll be back and uh, let's see if we can figure this out. I'm gonna, gonna have to craft myself another crowbar soon. But for now I should be good. There we go. I could, instead of doing it this odd way, I could um, um, create signals, but I don't know how these signals really work, so uh, I'm not sure. We'll see what I do. I might have to experiment with signals. Oh, by the way, uh, signals are made like this. Again, the controller circuits, but we also need to build the signal lamp, so that's a little bit of everything. I might have to craft this up and make a couple. Um, you can make Oh, it's a control circuit, so it's opposite to the one that I built. Um, block signals, dual head signals, the receivers, controllers. We might also want to make a signal tuner and a block surveyor. What the? Go away. So, yeah. I'm going to have to mess around with signals, I think. Try to figure them out. But I'm going to do that on my test world so that I actually understand what I'm doing before I start spending resources. Not that it's difficult to get resources, but, you know. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. I might also show you in the test world how to work with the block signals. We'll see. Yeah, I might do that. So, see you in a bit. So... I've spent about maybe two and a half, three hours now trying to figure out a good way to handle all these trains and so far any multi-train setup I've tried have failed miserably. Um, I had one setup that kind of worked but at the same time it didn't. So uh, I'm not sure. I do need to do more research on how to do that. But what I've found is that if there is a train that is a powered train and it goes over one of these holding tracks, um, these ones, 
Um, uh, it will not resume usage of any of the power it has until you right click on it. And that's a bit odd. I'm not sure if it's a bug with uh, with uh, Railcraft or Steve's cart uh, or even so when they don't speak with each other maybe. But that's gonna be a problem. Definitely gonna be a problem if I want to do anything advanced. Um, oh, I left my... Yeah, I did. So, um, I sort of figured out how block signals work and everything, but I'm not sure that's going to be the most optimal way to do this. Uh. Ow. That sucked. Um, yeah. That sure did suck. Ah, oh, come on, creepers. Give it up. I'm not interested. Oh yeah, I did upgrade... Hmm. I upgraded Railcraft and uh, I got some weird issues with the graphics now. Oh, that might be a problem. Um, give me a moment, guys, and see if I can figure it out. Seems like a reload fixed the problem, but I still need to make sure that I'm in recipe mode since I've been in the test world, and I need to fix this. You guys are stuck. There we go, at least it's fixed, but... Uh, yeah, I need to figure out a good way, but uh, this in itself should work, okay? So if I tell this to load at a maximum of 50%, Oh yeah. Um, I need to have a detector here so that What's the recipe for that one? It's just stone around a pressure plate, okay? Um I need two of those. Oh stuck in a tree. And we jump down. And here I will just do what I've done so far. I've put the unloader and uh, a chest. And that will do for now and it will have to unload everything from it, okay? Um, this is just gonna be a plain cart, I think. Yeah, it has to be. Let's put these guys up there. The switch motor can sit as well. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. So, a pressure plate. Let's make two. And... There. This one, together with the red alloy wire, We're gonna have to put in more power track here. Or my trains might not make it. Let's do a little. 
they work fine enough. <laughs> Did I just look up the recipe? I think I'm tired. Do I have any cobblestone then? No. Do I have any redstone? No. Is there a... Uh, I could get some cobblestone then. There should be some in one of these chests. Am I blind? That would be not in that one. Oh well. What to do, what to do. I want just two of these for now. Who knows? I might need more than one lever, so. That's just silly. I had one. Oh dear. Okay, that's just for now. Um, now if I put down a chest cart... Well, we can't really do that. Uh, this is not set up. So... I need check my little bag of tricks here. Mm, okay. So I'm gonna need a knot gate. So the knot... Oh, knot gate is built with one of those. And I'm also gonna need a few more of a few more stacks of redstone, it seems. Just a couple. I'm actually gonna need another one of those, so... I build another one then. Not gate. And I had not gates. Oh well. <laughs> now I got extras. That doesn't really matter. So I put down these detectors for any thing at all, really. And I use my, let's see, that's the one. And I need a bit of uh, that. We might also need uh, these little guys. So when there is a train here, whatever train it is, Better be ready with that one. It will fill up with materials in this chest. They will be loaded in this chest. And uh, there it goes. And he will unload. And after he's empty, he will zip along. And I got the wood down in base. Okay, so that's the basics of what I want to do with this whole thing. However, let's make sure that we got it right, okay? It should filter for... this wood. This one I don't really see why this one should uh, not be running, so
let's keep it running Ooh. and let's keep it pulling out both apples and Because the iron chest can hold a lot more, so, yeah. So, let's check our bag of tricks. But first, let's kill the damn skeletons. Let's see... I did put a loader in here, didn't I? Yep, and a filter. So, the filter, with a timer... Where's the filter again? With the tubing. And the chest. And a timer. And do we have any jacketed wire now? Nothing. Must have left that one. Can I do this? Yep, that works. It's not elegant, but... Let me just dash in there. Yeah, this should only be wheat. So, let's grab the loader. And say, only use wheat and fill the cart until it's completely full. Or, well, I suppose it will dash away when this one is empty. It should be the same here, really. Okay, so... Let's put this empty cart here and see what it does. It gets locked there, and it's filling up. It shouldn't fill more than about here, since that's halfway of it. I can now remove that one, since I don't need it. It's fairly fairly fast loader. We'll see. And that should be about half. Okay. Okay, well, that's not half, but fair enough. And here it should... N oh. <laughs> My bad. And it should also be a boarding track, but that's fine. Let's put down manual switches for these. I'm just looking down here to see. Uh, it might take a while for this one to actually unload all its stuff here. Yeah, and I've asked it to be empty as well, so... That's odd. Let's load 300. That should be about, I don't know, four stacks.
There should be some sort of item detection. I'm not aware of that, that though, so if you guys know of any way to detect what's in an adjacent inventory without using the build craft gates, I suppose, could do that, but... I might have to use a structure pipe and build craft gate, but that's for when I actually start building the complex system down here. How's this one looking? Oh, look at that. So, yeah, this will surely fill up fast, so... Let's uh, take a look at the iron to gold chest upgrade. So that's just eight iron, uh, gold around iron. Oh dear. I have so much in my bags. Let's um, put away a bunch of these. Yeah. So, what was I doing? Yes. Eight gold around diamond. No, eight gold around. How's the chest looking? Nice, oh, filling up with stuff. Where did you get cobblestone from? Oh well. Fair enough, I don't mind. So, I need to figure out a way to sort my inventory a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a toolbox. Yes, look at that. It's just refined iron and some more stuff. And there go the cart. Awesome. Um, something that is new with this update is if uh, you have chunk loaders, like I do, you can press F12 and it will do these sparkly things if you're in a chunk that is automatically loaded. So yeah, this seems to be loaded. Let's switch that off. Okay, toolbox. I have no idea how this works, so let's test. I need to have five refined iron around a chest. Was it like this? Oh, awesome. But how will that work out with, for instance, that one? It will not. Hmm. No, it will not. So, that's odd. It's listed as an alchemy bag. Oh. Yeah, I might not want to use that. It's a nifty little thing, though, so there might be a good use for it. So, all this excess wood that we have now, we need to do something with it. And I have a plan. We should recycle some of it into coal. Um, oh, here comes the cart. It hasn't got so much now. It will, however, fill up pretty fast. Also, all this wheat needs to be sorted out as well. We need to do something with it. Um, I think that I want to make... I'm just figuring out the way to sort out my tools and my bags and stuff. I think I should take that one in there, the handsaw, the electrical wrench can go there. Um, there are some really nifty things you can do with all these items. Um, I should build one of these automated um, uh, coal coke and uh, creosote oil factories. Oh, and this one is almost empty now. Look at that. Cool. So, how do we make a track? 
Hmm. Yeah. Once it comes down again now, I will knock this one down because, uh, yeah, the uh, cart managers should hold on for quite a while. There we go. Knocked off. Knocked off track. Um, so, my plan down here now is really to transport a lot of items down. Hmm. Transport a lot of items down here. Fill this chest, these chest carts with items uh, like, yeah, anything that I could need over there and uh, transport it there. Like, for instance, I want to build uh, uh, one of these um, uh, what do you call them? Biofuel. The biofuel uh, um, machines. So that means I would need to create biogenerators as well as. No, not biogenerators, but I need to have. I think it's a squeezer. And uh, let me just check uh, forestry wiki real quick here. Um, I need to make, first of all, a fermenter, I believe. Yes, that's the one. I need to make a fermenter, and these guys will take any uh, item like, for instance, saplings or wheat, which I will have a lot of. Uh, and uh, that will be convert it into biofuel and we need to have some sort of fermenting thing like for instance fertilizer manure something like that and uh, that's something I will work on setting up I think but to get the whole quarry thing that I've planned started um, I am going to set up a few things over by my other base so there will be a little bit of traveling for me before I get there and uh, there are a few things that I need to build for doing anything so I will see you guys ow oh that's bad where did all these slimes come from hmm I don't like the fact that I'm starting to get a lot of slimes here. I didn't have them before. Hmm. Too much taint here, I don't know, maybe? Yeah, so I'm gonna start working on uh, that. But let's just see if we can upgrade this one. And we can get one more. Actually, two more. And uh, we can stick one of them in there. Keep that one charged. And I will grab all these diamonds to give them a little boost. I wonder if I can get enough EMC for another one. No, it doesn't look like it, but almost. I just want to upgrade this one to the sphere, which is then used for the Omega one, which is used for, ouch, the alchemical tome, which is very good to have. But that's a lot of EMC. Let's switch this one on. Produce some more diamonds. Yes, yeah, so let me work on setting up uh, a few things over in the other end of the map. I figured I'd have some fun with my uh, little nifty mercurial eye and build myself some stuff. And since uh, I have a fair deal of EMC in this one, uh, I decided I'd start building big. So this will be part of my base out here. Um, I thought I'd go over the general plans, but uh, 
Yeah, just the general plans um, for now. Um, this area here, as you can see, this is where the rails go down. So in this part here, probably yeah, something like um, let's see, like that area over to here, maybe. something like this and then over to this area over here something like this and of course in a uh, in a box like this this is where I will dig out using the quarry it will be a fair distance from this uh, rail track because I don't want to cause any issues with that. Um, but I will build up a fortress of kind uh, with a... there will be an entrance around here I think or maybe I'll build that up here and clear out some of the rainforest. Yeah, I'll probably do that. And um, the area in here will be sort of safe from mobs. I'll find out a way. Probably need to use uh, turret tracks or defender track uh, carts or something. Oh, we'll see what happens. Um, I will do most of the building off camera, I think, just because, well, there's a lot of digging to be done. There's a lot of uh, playing around with the mercurial eye. Trust me, it takes time to build with it, even though it's fairly easy to work with. Huh? Did this one miss out on? No, it just didn't remove the leaves as it should. Oh well, big tree. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'll see what I will build out of this um, whole thing. Yeah, I'll find out something cool. I wanna make it look neat, so I'll probably spend quite some time just working with it and trying to figure out a th cool design. And yeah. Something like this. I'll sort this wall out and make the entrance about this big, I suppose. Yeah, should be able to do something neat with this. So. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, so I will see you guys in the next episode, because we're way over time on this one. Um, hope you enjoyed this one, even though it was a bit messy and, well, I didn't get that much done, really. But, yeah. Um, I made a little bit of a, a sort of a plan on paper to what we need to build in this area. The quarry, of course, will need power. So, uh, I'm gonna build up a peat bog and a tree farm. What? Another tree farm, you say? Yes, this will be a forestry tree, tree farm. Uh, everything will be powered by peat f engines for now. That should be enough to produce a decent amount of uh, energy, at least. Um, also, I will set up, uh, using this, a fermenter and a squeezer to take care of all the saplings and apples. Uh, and the wood that I get will be recycled into scrap or, well, something else. I don't know. Might uh, just dump it into EE. Well, who knows? That could work. But, yeah, that's basically the idea of what I'm gonna be doing over the next couple of episodes. Taking a bit of a break from the trains uh, over by the base. Hope you guys don't mind. You're probably too tired of the trains now anyhow, so... Um, if there's anything that you'd like me to do, or uh, any specific builds, uh, feel free to uh, shoot a comment or uh, just PM me. I do want to try building cool stuff uh, that you guys like, so that will sure help if you have any ideas, so yeah. That's what it is about. I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be 16, I believe.
No, 17. Wow. Is this, an ep this is episode 16. Cool. Time flies when you're having fun. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.